Only on two, Brighton Park is in the dark with streetlights off on more than a dozen blocks, but it's not because they burned out. CBS 2's Tara Molina is live at CPD's 9th District. And Tara, you were told gang members are actually cutting the wires. Erica, on at least 13 blocks right now, according to the alderman, he's asked for police to step up their presence in that neighborhood because as soon as the city fixes a light, the wires get cut again. You can see it yourself. Wires hanging out of the light pole. We found a few like this. Pulled, broken, clipped. These two got cut. On South Campbell, a three block stretch is pitch black right now. Oh, this part of Brighton Park is very much a, a gang hotspot. It's where we met 15th Ward Alderman Raymond Lopez. Gang members are pulling the wires, cutting the wires at the base. Obviously to be in the dark, to do what they want to do, whether it's driving through the neighborhood, trying to shoot people, graffiti, or do other things of that nature. It's not a brand new problem here, but it's bigger and it's worse growing over the past three months with more than 200 complaints filed. The city has closed about half of those, but Alderman Lopez says the issue is the lights don't stay on long. As soon as we can fix it with CDOT, the lights are out the very next day. Taxpayer money down the drain. Fixing one of these, a couple hundred dollars. With five lights on a block, restoring these sets the city back $1,000 just to go dark again. At one point, we had to have police officers join CDOT crews to ensure that we could keep the lights on because the gangs were hanging around trying to see what we were doing, trying to intimidate city workers from putting the lights back on. We talked to people who live here, work here, walk these streets every day. Not one person would go on camera, even anonymously. Why? Some told me they're living in fear, and it's just not worth it. Now, Chicago police say patrol units are paying special attention to all of those affected areas right now. The alderman said that CDOT is stepping up to combat this problem as well. We're reporting live outside the 9th District Police Station tonight. I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Brad and Erica. All right, Tara, thank you.